Hi everyone, I'm Jackie Beam from High Watt Living and I am here today with Claudia, our intuitive coach. Hi Claudia. Hi there. Yay. Claudia and I already filmed an interview, but it got deleted. So here we are on Zoom. I hope this works for everyone. <laughs> um, so Claudia, I think a lot of the people working with you want to know how you got into energy healing. How did, you, where were you at when you first discovered this work for yourself? Um, the journey started about seven years ago, I would say. Um, and it was, a, I was in a place where I had a life that looked really good from the outside. Yeah. It wasn't deeply satisfying. It was a good paying job, but it wasn't motivating or purpose driven. It was a relationship where I was constantly spinning my wheels and feeling like I wasn't getting anywhere. And it was just felt like I was burnt out and needed more out of life. Mm -hmm. I felt like there was more for me. And I was like, you know, there's people out there that might think this is okay, but I want more and it's okay to want more and look for it. So that's how I found you. And mm -hmm. it was a deep, deep, yes. It was one of those things where you just feel like, I don't know how I'm going to pull this off, but I need to do this and I need to do this now. Right. So the journey started then and it hasn't stopped since. It's been amazing. I absolutely love this work. Yeah. Claudia came as a guest. One of my clients brought her as a guest to the first time I ever hosted a live. It was just a one day retreat live thing in a, in like a guest house. Yeah. <laughs> and Claudia was there and she's been doing, she's been clearing blocks ever since for years. And so from clearing all these blocks, what's been made possible in your life? Oh my gosh, everything that I put on that first upgrade document. So maybe you can speak to what the upgrade yeah, document An upgrade is. document, for those of you guys who don't know, if you haven't done the Energy Upgrade Audio Toolkit, an upgrade document is the home play from the first lesson where you just have a document that stays on the desktop of your computer that paragraphs every detail or every area of your life and what you want to create for every area of your life, career, finance, love, health, side projects, all of it. So that's her upgrade document. So I... I think my biggest, biggest one was um, just having motivation at work or feeling like I was doing something where I was excited to show up. And within a year, I changed my job. But because I still had blocks, the job, I kept finding things that was like, oh, no, it's the job. It's everything. And I'm like, no, no, it's me. This can give me everything I want. It's just, you know, keep working on it. <laughs> well, now it's everything I've wanted as work. And I still, that's not even it. Now I get to do this work, which is even fulfilling me on a whole different level. And I am so excited to be a part of it. Yeah. At the time, because I love travel, I was hoping to travel the world with friends. And now I get to do it and I get paid to do it. Yes, and it's paid really well to do it. And it's not even something that is like once a year. I mean, I just found out I'm going to Tokyo in two, three weeks. Mm -hmm. It's just like, okay, yeah, that's how life yeah. is for well. Uh, life now her, her professional life consists of like going on weeks long trips to amazing amazing places and getting friend, paid uh, very well to do it yeah and on another thing that was very deep to my heart was love mm -hmm. I was like I said in a relationship that was long term it was a good partnership but it was just not moving and it was stuck and <laughs> I'm very stuck. Yeah. So I did a lot of work and I would say we moved up higher, but I kept saying, you know, make this relationship happen or something better. And when the relationship couldn't take that step, I just had to trust that my something better was coming. Yeah. So I took a year off, worked on myself, worked on my relationship, got myself to a really high vibe place. And I was like, okay, I need to be here because I need to know and this was like a thing that it was an intuitive hit that the person that was coming in was going to be so loving that if I didn't get myself to that high by place, I wasn't going to believe it when he showed up. Right. And then he showed up and now yes, I'm like, did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it's so, it flows. It's everything that was on that upgrade document and more of the stuff that I didn't even know yeah. that I'm now in love with. So Claudia is such a transmission for a good love relationship. She, um, she was talking to me recently. I was like, okay, tell me, tell me the energy you're in with this relationship. And she, when she speaks about what her relationship is like, it is such an attunement for anyone listening of what's possible in a relationship. It is so great. And she really likes working with people on love blocks because of this. She deeply understands reality creation. Claudia deeply understands that 
whatever is showing up in a partnership is what you are an energetic match for. Even if it's that person and their junk that they're in, oh you're an God. energetic match, is, match for a person who's in that junk. So she yes. really knows where to look. She really can help with love. Yes. It was, I mean, I take full responsibility. I created my last partnership. Right. Yeah. And I was all like, the patterns, all the blocks, all the, all the patterns, emotions, all the things. I, it was me that was also allowing this person in this space. And right. so once you get yourself to that higher place, you're just going to have to find a person that matches you there. Right. And uh, a lot of people have, uh, Claudia actually has a client who she's been working with who said, you know, I have this amazing person coming in right now, but I just don't believe anything he's telling me. And so Claudia is doing the kind of work where it's like, okay, we have to get you to a place where you believe that, where you can really receive what that person has to give be, to you and trust it. And yeah. that's not to say that, you know, go around and trust everyone. It's become a match for the person that you can trust. Mm -hmm. Of course. So, no, I, I, I love this work because I did the work so much. Yeah. On yeah. She did. I was there. She went yeah. to many retreats, did many private sessions, all the live events. Claudia has done the work. Um, yeah. What else has Clearing Blocks opened up for some of the people that you've been working with? So you've, you've seen all the transformation in yourself. What kind of cool stuff have you seen from clients that you've served? I would say there was a client who I, it was unexpected and beautiful to know that she had a desire to stop smoking. Yeah. And we got to the energetic root of what was creating the desire. To yeah. Smoke. And so it was kind of like just being presented of this is what, what it is. Do we want to continue down this path? There's nothing wrong with smoking. Right. I was, if you want to continue it, but this is what, why we're doing this and this is what's possible without it. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of left up to the client. And what I learned later was she stopped and she stopped. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this, I had, I had some of my friends and uh, people I know do some sessions with Claudia so that I could get some feedback. And the feedback from that particular client client was, you know, I stopped smoking and that person also had her biggest financial month ever in her new career. She had left a day job or, a, yeah. a, you know, it's something she was doing before. She started something new and it was slow to get going. And then you guys worked on her business and what was going on with her that was blocking her business. And she had her best month ever. Oh, I was so happy to hear that. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Another example would be I work with a male client and that's something that I've really enjoyed um, yeah. working well with, with uh, men. And I would say men tend to be a little bit more rational and logical. And that's kind of how we train our men. Kind of just, <laughs> just don't go into your emotions too much. And so he mentioned, it's going to be hard for me to enter that stage or even feel energy. And so we just kind of started off the session, keeping an open mind. And by the end, he was like, I felt it. I felt everything. I felt like myself receiving. I felt it moving. I felt myself in that space that I hadn't before. And to give that as it's almost like a gift to see somebody see that that's possible for themselves right. to be that connected with their body or with their energy. Um, yeah. So that would be really cool too. Yeah. And Claudia, Claudia is very skilled at working with men because some of the feedback I get about Claudia. So Claudia was my client for many, many years. And I know that she had a very hard time for a lot of, for a lot of years, right, Claudia, to getting out of her head right? Oh, yeah. It was all in her head. And when I would try to get her into emotions, she couldn't feel them. She couldn't go there and she would think she was going there, but she okay. wasn't, right? <laughs> no, so no I, go ahead. Sorry. You know, she's really good at being able to work with people who are there because she's been there and she knows, um, she knows where to meet you in your head. And then yeah. she knows how to guide you back into your body. Yeah. And yes. I would say because I was there for so long and I still felt change. Yeah. I know it's possible to still do this work and feel the energy even if we're a little reluctant to go into that yeah there's ways to kind of poke at the energy and poke at the patterns to kind of get it moving because you did that to me right and then right. it continues to be to the space where it's like okay now I can pop in yeah yeah because clearing emotions is one of the fastest ways to just get your energy cleared of when you clear emotions you clear a ton of beliefs and all that stuff that came with it and programming and patterning but if you can't get into those emotions Claudia can help you get back in your body if you're willing to people have to be willing to and it's, okay. it's one thing if you can't and it's another thing if you're not willing to if you can't Claudia can help you if you're not willing to nobody can help you <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, so what kinds of people do you enjoy working with the most? That's a great question there. I would say people that are incredibly motivated to change their life. Yeah. Uh, people who want to create a new reality and who are willing to show up fully to do this. This is not 
bystander work. This is not show up and eat. somebody else does the work. Right. This we also, don't do that. No. This is for people who are ready to see something change and are ready to put themselves through that change by showing up. So facing truth, facing uh, where we can be our better selves. Um, so I would say motivated people, people that are ready to be honest and truthful and are ready to show up and give a one hour session their very best and be like, okay, I'm ready to see change. What right. do I do? Right, um, right. Because I like work. Um, I would say also people that are logical because I've been there, that comes easy. Um, I can take you from that logic to the space that you can process that emotions and it's a safe place. Yep. What else? Um, and I would also say to, in, in response to that, so yes, you can, you are very good with people who are logical because you can get them into the emotion. But I've also seen where you've been able to take people who are really flighty and not grounded and you've been able to be that attunement of logic and grounding for them. So you're qualified to work with everyone. Obviously with the people who are logical, you can resonate more, but for people who are just super, you know, energies all over the place, Claudia can get you back in. I would say I'm pretty grounded. So yes. <laughs> yeah. She's a very grounded healer. Um, what do you love most about being an energy healer or an intuitive coach? I would say, oh my gosh, where, where do I start? Um, the clients. I love creating a relationship with a client and seeing what is possible after they do this work. It is so beautiful. It is so exciting to even see the transformation from the moment somebody starts the call to the moment they finish the call. And they're in such a high vibe, like joyous attitude. Like, I can create this. I can do this. This is totally possible. Um, I had a client that finished and she said, oh my God, this is the best feeling in the world. Can we just do this like every single day? And I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Yes, um, yes. it is. It really is. And that's what, what at High Watt Living, like the, the coaches, myself and the coaches that are working at High Watt Living, we, we kind of don't really even consider ourselves like energy healers. Claudia and I were talking about this recently. We, we, we work with energy and we release energy, but we're more focused on the reality creation aspect of everything. So it's really just about where do you want to go and how do you need to become, an, what do you need to do to become an energetic match? So a lot of, you know, a lot of healing work, people think they just show up and a healer heals them. And we don't do that. We're, we're working with you on your vibration and clearing the blocks is a big part of that. Mm -hmm. And yeah, providing the attunement for where you're going is the other part. So whenever you leave a session, Claudia is going to get you into a space of like, all right, what does it feel like when you're already there? And there, who is that part of you? Who's that version of you? Who needs to step up and be that? And yeah, it's leaving a session. The end of a session is the best. Even if it's like a really dense emotional purging session, you just cleared that much more space. Yes. Yes. And it's a, uh... Even if you end the session and you feel like the energy is still moving, you have a deep understanding that something so big is being released. It's almost like I'm ending a massage and you're like, whoa, there's a lot of things happening. But as soon as this all kind of like releases completely, I'm going to be in a better space. Totally, totally. Yeah. And then filling you back, filling people back in with what, where they want to go gets them, uh, yeah, it just gets them integrated. It lets their body integrate to the energetic changes that have been made. It's amazing stuff. I thought about you when you said you want to do this work sometimes, even when you're on vacation, because you realize yeah. how satisfying and happy it is. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'm going to be in Tulum. Maybe I want to open up some slots while I'm there. And yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It's, it's, I, what, what else do you love about being an energy healer or a, an intuitive coach? Um, let's see. I love that it's even a practice for myself. Mm -hmm. So much of it is, um, is, seeing seeing it and it's like getting all this clarity even when you're in a session you're like wow okay that that's completely new and you see seeing transformation in somebody else even opens up transformation for yourself absolutely it's really uh yep. i really enjoy it. um and it's yeah. just i believe in the work i am a person that did the work and i know what's possible when you do it and it's sometimes you'll get a session where it's like really a hot and then really it's the consistency that gets you where you want to be. Yeah. I've signed up for every program that was possible for me in the last six, seven years. And here I am. I love my life. I love even in moments of hardship, I found an internal peace and grace that I, I credit to doing this work. Totally. Totally. And that's on the other side of this now and being, and knowing that 
that's possible because I stand by it. I, I am proof of this. Yep. Is, is amazing. I love it. I love that. Well, so, thank you so much, Claudia. I'm really glad our, our viewers and our followers are going to have a chance to get to know you and how, how much you love this work. And, and I can speak to how talented you are at this work, as can all the clients who've been working with you. Claudia is incredibly psychic. She's incredibly grounded. She's very, very talented at seeing the energy and moving it out. And if you want to try a private session with her, you can find a link to do that at highwattliving.com. And yeah, join us at any of our live events that we have in the future. And we can't wait to see you. Yeah, excited to meet everybody at a new session. Yay. All right. Well, thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Jackie.